email you send is probably utterly... Can you guys hear that music at home? It's so funky. <laughs> Anyhow, you, every email you send, if you're not encrypting it, it's still funky, it is basically naked and anybody can read it on the web. So Kevin, the guy who probably is reading your email at home, has a solution that you might just, well, want to pay attention. Tell us about it. Hush me. Well, the first thing and when you're switching email is that you have to remember is that you want to stick with a company that's going to be around. Because right. if you think about people, most people use Hotmail because they know Hotmail is going to be yeah. here five years from now. Because like a couple, three, four years ago, it was like everybody started, Bob's email. It yeah. was like, you know, little tiny department stores, dot coms that got eaten by other dot coms. Everybody had free web mail. Neighbor. Everybody had it. <laughs> exactly. But uh, the cool thing about the, pro uh, pro or actually the website I'm about to show you is that it's been around since 1998. It's really cool. It's called Hushmail. Hush Check this out. Hushmail uses what's called OpenPGP. And that's like, we've used PGP like in the PGP, past. only it's open source. Right? Exactly, like the open source. Let me show you how this works. Uh, if we click on sign up here, it's uh, uh, going to take us into the sign up form. We're just going to choose accept here. Now, this is where it gets pretty cool. We're going to choose next here. And this is going to install a little tiny, let's first pick a username here. So we'll say, I want my username to be test, TSS, one, two, three, Which is going to get a lot of email. At hushmail.com. We'll click on next. Yeah, it's going to get a ton of emails. And what it's going to do is it's going to generate your keys. Now, it launches this little window here. Now, take a look start at this. Clicking, man. As we move the mouse around and click, it's going to generate these random secure keys. Now, this is doing, using all the random information of my mouse being moved around. And now it just generated the keys. Now, it asks you for a passphrase. Now, think about when you sign up for a Hotmail account. It asks you for something that's like 8 to 10 characters mm -hmm. in length. This is going to allow you to put up the sentences in here so that you can make your password just that much more secure. So basically, you start out, you have this huge, randomly generated 2048-bit key, which right, is which a you've ridiculously with the mouse. large key. Uh -huh. That's the key that allows you to unencrypt your data. Exactly. And on and top of that, you can put, like, the, the Declaration of Independence as your password. Exactly. You can okay. write as long as you want. I mean, I'm sure it has some type of limit, but put in a good sentence in here. I haven't hit it yet. And then log in. Now, this is what happens once you log in. If you'll notice, this looks just like Hotmail. Same things, create folders, create a new message. But let's go ahead and click on here to compose a new message. Mm -hmm. Now, if we click on this, it's going to pop up a window, and it's going to say to the carbon copy and the blind copy. Now, this looks, again, just like Hotmail. It looks like email. But if you take a look here, it has a little checkbox that says encrypt message. So let's say it's been like blah, 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 and we'll put in a subject of just random characters. And we'll say to Kevin at techtv.com. And now we're going to click send. Now, what it's going to do is the second you uh -huh. click send, it's going to go out and search for my key. Now, if I don't already have a registered open PGP key, it's going to give me this message right here. It can't find the public keys, meaning that it can't send the encrypted email. So this isn't a matter of both people. I mean, both people could use Hushmail, but basically, if I don't have a PGP key, because you, know, you need a public key to encrypt my right. stuff for me to read it privately. If I want to use this with people who have Yahoo or Hotmail, do it'll they work have just to? fine. Okay, it, but it's not going to be encrypted. That's the thing about it. But the cool thing is, is that you can. It's going to send your standard signature right here, so that they can also get an open PGP uh, key, and then you'll have that secure communication between two clients. Now, one thing that I really like about this more than anything at all is the fact that you don't have to have those special encrypt or right. decrypt buttons. No third-party tools. No, no third-party tools process. to install or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've seen when you get an encrypted message, you'll see all this encrypted text. You won't know what it is or how to even right. unencrypt it in some cases. Well, the cool thing about this is it automatically does it for you. Automatically encrypt it and automatically decrypt it. You click OK and it sends it, and it's completely seamless. That's the cool thing about it. So basically, painless P2P, 2040, a ridiculously large key. How much is it? And it's completely free. They have a pro version that allows you more space, but they also have a completely free version. You can check out my article at thescreensavers.com. It's all on there. Ladies and gentlemen.